Step one, start Rust. Step two, go to the servers list and type in Intoxicated. Go to the modded tab and look for the Intoxicated US Sandbox Creative no clip server or join a server that you have admin on. After joining the server, you will be greeted by the menu or hit the middle mouse button to open up the menu. You will want to disable claim visibility in the menu as well as crosshair visibility. After that, you will want to learn how to fly. By clicking F1 on your keyboard and typing in noclip, you will be able to fly around on the map in your character. But by hitting F1 on the keyboard and typing debug camera, you will actually be able to fly out of your character and spectate others as well as your own character. If you want to edit the time of day for your cinematic, you will want to go back to the menu and click on set time. You will then be able to click on any time of the day 1 through 24. If you're an admin on a different server without this option, then you'll want to go back into console and type env.time and a number 1 through 24. After that, you're going to want to find a location where you're going to record and build your cinematic. Once you've found that spot, fucking build it. A lot of people often ask me how I get the scene in my cinematic that was actually on the live server that we were playing on. I actually just rebuild it on this intoxicated server or another server that I have admin on. If you're wondering how I get trees and stuff in the right places, I go to the menu and I click on select spawnable. I'm able to choose from a list of items and by holding down shift and E at the same time, I'm able to place those items one by one. If I hold down shift and R, I'm able to remove those items or any other objects on this server. For some reason, in Intoxicated, you're not allowed to record your own player movements, so you're going to need to record someone else's. This is when the hardest part comes into play. You're actually going to need a friend. On any other server with admin, you can record your own, but not on this one. Hello? How's it going? Alright. One minute. This is now the most important part. You will actually want to record the cinematic now. What do I do? You can do this by going back into console and typing record space the name that you want the cinematic to be saved as in your console directory. I need you to spray that wall. Right there. After typing this, your recording has now begun. Make sure to get out of the frame. Spray it. You don't need to get any fancy camera angles when recording this part of the cinematic. When you're done with the action sequence in this cinematic, you're going to want to go back into the console and then type stop. This will stop your recording. Then make sure to disconnect from the server. When you want to play the cinematic, you're going to want to go back into console and type play space the name that you titled the cinematic when typing record. When you get back into the server, you're not going to be able to move, so you're going to want to use the debug camera to go out of your character just like I showed you at the beginning of this video. Think of these next commands on a scale of 1, 1 being the normal speed. You're going to want to change your camera speed to have a lower rate. I always change mine to 0.01. You're going to want to go into console and type cam speed space 0.01. The next is changing the movement speed of your camera when moving your mouse around. You're going to want to type cam lerp space 0.01 as well. These commands will give you the smoothest camera movements. Now I'm maxing out my graphics. The only things you won't want to max out on your graphics are sharpen, anti-aliasing, and depth of field. You will want to max out everything else, and in options, you will want to turn off name tags, chat, and HUD. The last crucial command is timescale. Timescale speeds up or slows down your footage. You're going to want to go back into console and type timescale space any number between .01 and probably 10. Like I said, 1 is the average speed for everything. 1 is the average speed at which your character moves, so if you type timescale space 2, then you're doubling the speed at which your character is going to move in the cinematic. Going below 1 is slowing down your character by a lot, so it depends and you kind of change it based on how you want your cinematic to look. Now you're going to want to make sure that your recording program is on, and you're going to want to go around and record the cinematic from any angle that you want. Holding control and moving the mouse will slightly tilt your camera in different angles. When it comes to the end of your footage, it will automatically shut off and bring you back to the menu, so you will have to replay the footage by typing play in the name of your recording once again. Once you're done getting the camera angles and movements that you wanted, then you're going to want to stop your recording and drag it all and put it in whatever editing software you're using. 
I want to leave the editing up to you guys to be creative, but the two tips I will leave you guys for editing is one, try to find out how to put black bars with whatever editing program you're using as they can make your cinematics look a lot better. And also the key thing to me making my cinematics perfect is music timing. Look for the spikes in your videos and try to focus mainly on cutting your scenes during the music volume spikes. That is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Finally, I came out with this cinematic tutorial. I try to make it as quick as possible. Please, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you guys want to see some more PUBG and some Rust videos. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it.